holder of the red. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of the red. The worker will nod and pull out a dusty old notebook and hand it to you. She will then point out a door labeled No Entry. As you enter the door, take a look at the notebook. It will seem completely blank at first, but upon further inspection, a random page will have four numbers written in red ink. Memorize the numbers and continue down the hall. Eventually you will reach a red wrought iron door. There will be a number lock in the center of the door with four spaces. The door is slightly warm to the touch. Enter the number you memorized. Enter the wrong number and a violent end awaits you. Inside several red lights hang from the ceiling casting everything in a semi-dark yet seeable shade of crimson. The walls are covered in children's toys, dolls, and model trains. Walk forward. Inside, a small boy will be crouching with his back to you. He will respond to only one question. Who can control them? You will be answered with giggles from the child. He will turn around and stab you with a needle attached to a strand of thread. Let him do so. Stopping him will only make the pain much worse and last an eternity. The sewing needle will pop out your back and he will pull on it, letting the thread become coated in a thick layer of your blood. Once done, he will begin to gracefully sew. Wait and do not speak. Do not move. Do nothing to draw attention to yourself. Before long, you will have a small blood-red doll in the shape of a human. The doll has no face or any other distinguishing features, but the craftsmanship is perfect. Protect it as though you were to protect your own life. Whatever happens to it also happens to you. That doll is object 108 of 538. Do you control the objects? Or do the objects control you?